Welcome back to Channel C1. I'm the Micah Jamal. And this is Cam King. Today we're watching the finale of Shogun Season 1. Yeah, 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 yeah. A dream of a dream. This show has been a pleasant surprise. We enjoyed it a lot. It's been quite, quite delicious. Quite good, quite good. A lot of things going on. Satisfying on my cinematic palette. A lot of good uh, directing, a lot of good writing, a lot of good characters. Editing's good. Also, full reactions are on Patreon. If Watch you'd like along. to see everything we got going on uncut, real raw. 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 But yeah, it's um, it's been good. It's been a good ride. Um, hopefully, it's a satisfying finale. This is it. There's no season two. This is it's just one minute. It's basically a mini series. I don't know why they even call it a season one. It's really just a mini series. Mariko died last episode. Yeah, R.I.P. R.I.P. I assume Toranaga's gonna you know rise to power, and uh, Blackthorn's probably gonna throw a fit because he's gonna be like, "Why'd you kill Mariko?" And yeah, those are my guesses. Sounds like some good guesses. That's what I'm saying. I'm interested That's to I'm see saying. what the culmination of Toranaga's plans and how they play out. If everything works as it seems he expected it to. Where will Yabushige live? Yeah, if he survives, that'd be interesting. Because he's definitely got a little weasel energy. A little weasel. If Butaro wants to die, it's okay. I, he pissed me off sometimes. Sometimes. Many times. All the time. Any other thoughts, <sighs> concerns, comments, or questions? Favorite episode? Mm. Probably episode six. I believe that is the one where they meet. We meet his half brother, and then his son, Toranaga's son, attempts to murder his half brother. It fails and slips on a rock and dies. And I just thought that the episode, besides the interesting, fun, engaging part at the end, where you know Nagakato fails to you know kill i think his name is akai or i don't know Tornaga's half brother yeah, I don't remember the episode name. before that i mean i mean the entire episode leading up to that was very engaging and entertaining it was so yeah i really did enjoy that um but the other episodes was pretty good as well i believe episode two was the favorite for a minute I think four, five, six, and seven were just like a good back to back. Like, oh, this is getting good. Four episode four is when his son first blew up the fucking yeah, yeah the general that came to get him or whatever. Mm -hmm. A lot of the political intrigue happened in those episodes. I hope everybody you know get a little finish off to each character in this finale. I'm excited. Let's uh, let's drop into this. Yes, sir. <laughs> She did her part well. This was a good ass scene. That was a good scene. I like that scene. And she kind of stood up to him, embarrassed him a little bit. Oh, that this... was a clean scene too. Yes. You know what? Last episode I enjoyed that scene is a lot. close to my favorite, to be honest. Damn! 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 Who the hell is this? Percy. As Percy's the. We got some. It's a flashback. Yeah. Oh. Why is it shit? Because grandfather used it to fight. Maybe it's a flashback of John. <laughs> oh, it's a flash forward. Huh. Yeah, that's definitely John Blackthorn. I thought that was an old woman. Yeah, yeah, the way, yeah, you couldn't tell because they just framed the eyes. Was it really given to you by a savage? That's crazy because that's what they call them. And that's the necklace he got from Mariko. He's still holding on to it. Damn, that explosion blew them the fuck up. Well, I'm glad she didn't get like blown to bits, you know, like body pieces was flying. Smithereens, as they say. <laughs> okay, bro. I mean, yeah, obviously, yes, very emotional. <laughs> Damn. But he'd be making these noises a lot. <laughs> Someone commented about his acting. But he's a savage. Mm hmm. Dang, someone got killed in the friendly fire. 
Yeah, look what you did, Yabusha Gay. You fucked everything up. Nope. No, you're not forgiven. I read a comment somewhere about last episode where John drew a line in the sand farm things that mm-hmm. they use. And yes. that was like to represent that he's tired of their ways. Ah, uh, Like okay. their culture. Like he's he, he's like defying. Mm. It was a little interesting symbolism. I was like, yeah, I can see that. Because it was like perpendicular to all the other lines and messed it all up. Chapter 10. Tornaga? Out swimming? Hey, you feel, you're definitely feeling better now. He's like, I'm just a humble man. I, I'll just live a humble lifestyle. I don't want to be Shogun. Huh. Bird got the same haircut. <laughs> Is he letting everybody leave now? Cause he fucked up. Yes, sir. I mean, everything, brother. Are you still united though? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Basically, look at the actor. You look out of place. Wow. Brother. The, come on, don't breathe. Don't pick up on this bullshit. Christian meat rider over there. Okay. It still was her friend. <laughs> yes, sir. Somebody dying. I think so many people have already have. Oh, oh wow. shit. Earthquake? I thought they was getting attacked for a second. All part of Toronaga's plan. <laughs> oh, they're going to take that as a sign of God. They're going to take that ah. as a sign of God. Look at it, bro. It's hard Regret being a weasel, action. ain't it? It's Regret hard action, being a weasel, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit's stressful. You look, look well. well. Lying. Lying. Could have not blown up the building. Could have not tried to capture her. Who is he replacing? Oh,、わあ。で、神がたそれを不吉な前兆と見なした。イエス。で、顔は兵の道を探るのがなくなったのでござる。大昔のことではないか。And the same fucking thing happens. He going crazy. He was already crazy, but now he's crazier. <laughs> oh, man. oh man. I will feel bad for you, but you're a weasel, so and it's all your fault really that you even had to end up in that situation where the bomb messed with your e hearing a little bit and your sanity, it seems. And my brother looking clean on that horse on that rock. They stressing over there. He was he already know what he, he got planned to do. He don't got to put it to a vote. Bear many daughters. Uh-oh. Yeah, he grieving. I know he probably has some feelings for Mariko. 
Is this Idu? Or is this Osaka? This must be Idu. Their cities are surprisingly modern and like they're set up with like straight roads. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> Damn, he still got that ringing in his ear. Bro, look like he's seen a ghost. Damn, that was his translator, too. I forgot about that. Yep. But he's so he still knows, yeah, but. Yeah, he doesn't stand some of it now. It's not the same. You have been permitted to return to Toronaga Sama's galley. What? All families have now been released from Osaka. Praise be to God. At least that crisis is behind us. Is it? Toranaga won't be surrendering. Exactly. Toranaga will be dead in weeks. Then you don't know. Yoshi Toranaga. He must not know that Mary was dead. Before she died. I spoke before. God, not your God. Oh my God. Which God? This is good old God, huh? All reliable. Do you think it was acceptable? Rest assured, she was already sanctified. Before her death, she came to me and received absolution. Because she knew. I think it would have pleased her to see us being civil. <laughs> Perhaps there might come a time we can set aside our differences. <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> Is this where I'm to be? Ambushed. I was gonna say that they always get ambushed. Yeah, ambushed when they're trying to leave or go somewhere. He not. He doesn't trust nobody. But an arrangement was made. You will leave Osaka alive. You'll have to forgive me if I'm having <laughs> trouble accepting anything on your word. On this, you will just have to trust me. No. Dabs him with some hidden blade. I like this little sweeping shot where they came in on that town right there, that coast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Labushige, Yabushige. It was Lady Maria. Lady Maria. What was Lady Maria? She asked the church to spare your life before she died. Ah. And now I have. I have kept my word to her. Goodbye. He's like, that was hard as hell. Because I wanted to kill you. <laughs> she, she knew, brother. She knew that she was going to die. Uh, yep. He almost cried, but he sucked it <laughs> he back sucked in. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no, there, there it is. Look this youngin. Don't know what's going on. He just want to play. Yeah, that one. The one I just got killed. She said no. <laughs> that was trash, homie. <laughs> that was so beautiful. Thankfully, the wind. That's your. That's picks the end. Up. The wind picks it up. You're supposed to infer. He don't know poetry like that, bro. Sorry, guys. He don't know poetry like that. That was the greatest thing ever written on wish, this show. Wish Mariko was still alive. She, <laughs> she came up with something better. It was good, though. Bro, he's losing it. He's losing it. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, is that his ship? Damn. They sank his shit. Oh, that's even more heartbreaking. 
All right, dude's having a bad day. Tad, I can excuse the death of Mariko, but I draw the line at y'all sinking my ship. Oh, you got gypped, brother. Yeah, we gotta go burn them down. Oh, what a damn. welcome. What a fucking welcome. Wow. Right, Toronaga do not play, bro. No, he don't. Yeah, we know you've been bullshitter, bro. Yeah. Oh, damn. Bro, he about to kill him. Yeah, just accept your fate, bro, and tell the truth. Thank you. What do you mean? What? You don't be torn up. <laughs> you don't want to kill himself. Oh, God. This is beneath you. You bushy <laughs> guy. Yeah, nobody trusts you. Blackthorn? Huh. Huh. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> you ain't gotta ask me twice. I feel like Ishido had to know, like, if he sends Yabushige back there, that he wasn't just gonna be back there. Just yeah. like he's probably trying to get rid of him. Yeah, he was like, I don't feel like he or he's testing his allegiance still. Yeah, maybe because whose seat on the council was he taking? Yeah, right. I always liked Fuji. Yeah, she's she's number one. He's like, well, guess this is home now because I'm fucking stuck here. No boat. No boat. No bitches. No translator. Whose baby is that? His, right? Because his wife had a ah. kid. Uh, okay. Funny thing to say. Everybody got notes these days. Yeah, there's a lot of secret shit going on. What? From Lady Ochiba? Watch her portray them. Lady Ochiba portray who? The council. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just checking. That's what you meant. Open it faster. There you go. It was thrilling building suspense for him. Come on, tell us what that shit says. <laughs> oh, she just must have sent her the poem. I mean, at least Toranaga not heartless. Right, yeah. Like, he, he do be he caring. He has to play like he's heartless sometimes. But he do be caring about him. Yeah. Dang, he's gonna be alone. A nun, huh? Oh, that's kind of sad. Impossible. Marika's death, damn. Nope. Can't order it apparently now. Mm, 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 mm. This actually is worse than Mariko's death. Yeah, damn. <laughs> That's cute. Goat nun. Humble nun. Fresh sushi. 
He's so much more calculated and like composed now, um, John. Yeah, he's and getting before yeah. he had, he felt like felt like he was more reactionary. Like he would have got up in that moment, ran to his fucking yeah. house, and been like, "Yo, bitch, wake up!" Yeah, very impulsive. Uh, he looked badass with his gun strapped right below them swords, just ready for action. What? That's very interesting. It's reminiscent of the first scene where he was demanding for his mm. sword and his gun. Gonna miss Fuji. He was so chill. Number one. Ha. I was wondering about that. Yeah, I was like, last time we tried to translate. In order to spy on his enemies, years ago, my lord ordered me to convert to the religion of the Portuguese. So I took the name Muraj and moved here. Yeah, then he did that all is, that is crazy. And that that is not what Tornaga said. <laughs> <laughs> my lord says he will not rest. Until he finds those who help destroy your ship. I prepared something to say in Japanese. Perhaps you will help me if I falter. Oh no, this might not be good. <laughs> okay, okay. Or in the world you are looking for faith. In this part, either one will do. Yeah. <laughs> Give up. Hope and faith. It was Mariko Zama. She hated my war against the Catholics. <laughs> so she had someone burn it. Hmm. <laughs> A little baby war. Oh, man, shit. Ah, damn. What does up with you? Fair, fair. Bro just likes to say no. I came here to use you. Use me. To use you! Oh, old John coming back. I fed you shit. I. Bro, it's like, I don't need a translator for this. <laughs> Techie. Oh, that's the, one of the first words he learned. Techie. Techie! <laughs> what were we saying about him being calm again? <laughs> All right. Oh, man, you do not want to do this. God, <laughs> he just socked his ass in the face. I was about to say, something's got to happen for him to live to be that old. No way he kills himself right here. <laughs> that took a twist. Ah. I do not, I would not want that job. You've been seeing a lot of decapitated heads in the last right. couple of weeks. Shout out to Fallout. Mm. It's probably trash. Takigara. <laughs> 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 I don't know why, but this reminds me of Endgame. You see fucking Thanos Steve just, Rogers oh, okay. just sitting on um, the edge. Yeah. <laughs> Probably maybe talking about Thanos on the farm, but that's Infinity War. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> chill. You better die. Yeah, well, you betrayed everybody, bro. You were just stuck to one side. Oh, 
You see, he knew. Ha. And he killed all those people to make it look like it was legit. He's testing his ass. Bro, you are fucking ruthless. Ha. Wow. <laughs> this motherfucker's crazy. Ah. Wise man. They ain't even gonna battle. They ain't even gonna battle. Bro, just gonna sit back and. Whatever. Ah. What? So you say you talking about Mariko? Yeah. Okay. That's how I think he's talking about. For some reason, I thought he was talking about Lady Ochiba. Hmm. It's a good way to sh show it show in. us um his plan because of he of course he would never tell anybody, but he don't mind telling Yabushige since he's about to die. Oh. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh my God! He's a visionary. Yeah, okay. for sure, because he sacrificed a lot for the greater good. <laughs> this literally is gesture, bro. Makes him comic relief. But I'm not a rapper, guys. That's what it gave me. <laughs> Doing everything. It is. Well, obviously, you don't got no choice but to take it to your grave. It's like that same that um somebody asks you a question. He's like, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Tornaga's like, Yeah, I'll tell you. And I'm gonna kill you. You already told him part of the future. He can't basically agreed. He, I mean, basically admitted to what Yabushike accused him of, saying he just wanted to be Shogun the whole time. <laughs> He's like, yes, motherfucker, I want to be Shogun. Gotta do the clean wipe off of the blood. A little whoa. That's a nice almost call back to when they had that flash bit. Flashback when he was a kid and he couldn't cut it off in one swoop, uh, one swing. Yep. I've always been of the mind that are so committed to the deep. Yeah, but not die out here. Well, I know he ain't gonna die. They going on a date. Lives on forever. Within it. Uh no. No, she does not understand. He helping her move on. Yeah, Anjan's a pretty good dude at the end of the day. He'd be looking out for those that helped him. That's got to be the baby right there. Yeah, the fact that she had to lose her kid, too, is what sucks. Mm -mm -mm. All right, the husband, whatever. I can get another one of those. Yep. But I can't get another kid, the same kid from, the, from that dude. Oh. I was gonna say, he definitely still had that when he was old as fuck. Damn, that's deep. Oh, oh he, he did drop him. it. 
I mean, he could have had another cross, you know, that he was holding. Something else, I guess. <laughs> swims her back to shore. Swims back out, dives in to get it. Right. <laughs> Are they pulling that shit out of the water? Oh my god. We're pissing in the wind. We need more water. I come, they can rest. Oh, Bunturo. What do you want, bro? Right. Yes. Yes, this is wonderful. Raise the ropes! No, I'm okay. Right. <laughs> the string shit rags! I have a feeling this is the one. Oh, his insults are the best. <laughs> Y'all could be helping. Yeah. <laughs> this man's in love with this ship. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's like a what's it called? Ah, the great one. It was his hat. He was number one. So basically, Mariko's death probably expired. You know, Lady Ochiba to have a change of heart, potentially. And then she joined her side and betrayed Ishido in them. Basically how he mentioned it to Yabushi game. Pretty enjoyable finale, a more Just peaceful. A little closure. You know, closing yeah. up some of the story arcs. Good closure. What not? What did you think of the episode? What did you think of the entire series? You know what they say about good finales? I don't know. It's not what they say about good finales, but good finales tend to be like a little more almost boring if they're actually really good. I thought that it was boring, but like there wasn't like an action or anything. Right. You know? There was the because big fight. It's, and, and that's like a good sign, though. It's like everything's done. You know, if we got through everything and we got our closure for the most part. Plus, um, if they would have had a battle, it wouldn't have been like it wouldn't have it felt would, right. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't have been done in one episode unless yeah. they just i guess fought the entire episode then they would have had to have another episode to like what happens after the battle that right. the epilogue would you rank it one through ten i, I give it a eight and a half eight and a half mm -hmm. as a finale or just as an episode in the show i mean as a finale i feel like it's a nine and a half i mean it it, it does what it needs to do it wraps yeah. everything up it did its part i'm not left with a bunch of like obviously there's questions like what happens afterwards necessarily right. you know? it, yeah. but they made it very clear he becomes Shogun he becomes and ushers in a new era of peace right you know and we got conclusions to the main characters um Marie uh you know not Marie Holmes got a conclusion to her last episode but right, Blackthorn right. and uh his concert I always forget her name even though she's the best uh Fuji oh, Fuji, Fuji. It just doesn't roll off the tongue for some reason Fuji got a nice closure with them too. I like seeing that at the end. I like that boat scene. I really like the dipping mm -hmm. in the ashes, helping her move forward. They both helping each other. You got a closure to Yabushige. Move forward. You know, yeah. Omi's going to get, probably going to get something. You know, he, he'll be a lord or something, I'm sure. You had some closure to the other characters last episode with like the, the prostitute woman getting the her land. Todd. The church got some of their stuff, you know, kind of closed that out last episode. Yeah. And even Butaro, you got to see him and see him have respect for the Anjin. You see the Anjin basically essentially become a samurai for Toronaga. He's basically one of their culture now. She's one of the same. But yeah, this is a really good series overall and was pleasantly surprised. I watched the first episode and I was like, oh, this is pretty good. We watched the second episode and I was like, oh, this is like low key amazing. The third episode was probably my least favorite episode. That's the one with the fighting in the woods. In the, the ship, then they like race. He had to like race the ship, like where they had or, to beat yeah, it I past think so. the, and uh, that's it where was, Bontaro kind of died, but yeah. didn't die? Yeah, but, when he kind of yeah, been. yeah, that was it. Yep, and it wasn't bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it was my least favorite. I was like, there was action. It was exciting, but again, I think the strong points of the show are the character moments and the political espionage type of stuff that you got going on, which you really got from episode four to like seven. You got a lot of that was done very, just very, 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 very well. And the action too. There's a lot of good action scenes yeah. um as well as not only were they i felt good but they also seemed real for the most part nothing too crazy or yes. too plot armor inspired um yeah. characters got injured too a lot and even the scene with martico it made like it made a lot of sense like that they, they put them in an awkward position because they can't kill her yes yeah but she's attacking them and you see her start to wear down and she said basically she had to attack them to basically confirm i can't leave i can't escape now i have to die because they weren't gonna kill him kill her but she can't fulfill her lord's you know orders wishes 
so she has to commit you know suicide basically and um it was very it added a nice element to the interaction the bat or the you know the fight that they were having and then of course a little bit of uh growth from john because normally he would not agree to kill mariko he would fight try to prevent her from killing herself but he said no i'll that was a nice character i'll moment. second you so yeah. you don't actually have to commit suicide and you'll still be right with your religion and your beliefs that was pretty romantic in a way of course because they had a you know romantic chemistry but yeah i enjoyed it a lot as a entire season as a show i'll probably give it not yeah nine out of ten um it has some slower moments that weren't always the most engaging but overall it's definitely an enjoyable show there was nothing to where the logic was you know took you out of it or like made it hard to suspend yeah because even, even the episode where we had more some confusion where, confusion episode three where she uh, mariko could wield that blade or that like spear right kind of thing. they still and then they explain that later that women actually get training in those or we heard from the comments or something that yeah, women because, get training yeah it's definitely not apparent if you don't know their culture it seems like the women are treated you know almost like neglected in some ways and so, especially in the first few episodes as far as like especially like self-defense tactics and training and they're only allowed to do certain types of jobs and whatnot so you wouldn't expect them to be able to wield certain weapons and whatnot but apparently the staff is like the woman's weapon that's what they're all trained to do yeah and I thought that was you know a nice uh bit of information that they gave to us um but yeah nothing too exposition exposition -y either yeah there wasn't necessarily a ton of exposition yeah and that's nice uh I would say my favorite characters ended up being Fuji was up there. Toronaga is very cunning. Yeah. I don't necessarily agree with all his decisions. But right. I'm like, okay, he's very, you know, very cunning. I like him. Uh, Mar Mariko, Lady Maria. Those are like my three favorites kind of at the moment. I also like Toronaga's um, like second in command. I don't remember his name. He killed himself. Oh, yeah. Um, B Bantaro's father. I don't remember his name, unfortunately, but I liked him a lot too. What about you? I mean, yeah, I mean, the quarter sound was pretty, not the leader, but the lady that was actually the one. Oh, the one that was with Omi a lot. Yeah, she's pretty interesting as a character. Um, but yeah, Mariko is definitely Mariko and Fuji were definitely very likable characters. Buntaro was frustrating. Nak Nakakado was frustrating. However, In Nagakado, Nagakado was definitely interesting whenever he showed up on screen. Yeah, his scenes, his impact on the. Uh, the yeah. art you know his eccentric nature his impact on what happened in the show and then also the half brother forgot his name but toronaga's half brother who came and fucked everything up uh was very interesting whenever he was on you know scene because he was so like sarcastic and passive aggressive and he's like saying nice things but they're all always laced with a little bit of um insults but yeah john was just the normal you know I didn't like regular. him in the first few episodes, yeah. and I ended up liking him for the rest of the season. But yeah. uh, those first few episodes, I was like, you're really fucking annoying. Very enjoyable show. Curious what you guys thought of this finale and the season as a whole. Let us know in the comments. Let us know, let us know what you thought of our commentary and our reaction. And are you more interested in seeing more historically accurate fiction pieces like this based off of you know loosely based off of real events but the culture and things they get accurate because i definitely am i like to see filmmakers do some more of that with other parts of the world instead of just straight fiction just kind of like getting the culture accurate it's a nice learning experience but yeah with that check us out on the flip side baby bye